Well, good morning, everyone. It's uh, October 15th, 2020, and a special welcome to St. James Fenland Falls, Christ Church Cobaconk, and St. Francis in the Valley in Green Valley, Arizona. This morning, I'd like to uh, read to you a very familiar psalm. It's Psalm 23. Many of you know it as the Lord is my shepherd. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not be in want. He makes me lie down in green pastures and leads me beside still waters. He revives my soul and guides me along right pathways for his name's sake. Though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I shall fear no evil. For you are with me, your rod and your staff, they comfort me. You spread a table before me in the presence of those who trouble me. You have anointed my head with oil, and my cup is running over. Surely your goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. A very familiar and comforting psalm. We hear it a lot at funerals, and uh, it's also read on Good Shepherd Sunday. The psalm is one that speaks of God's presence, God as our shepherd, who is with us in, in times where we just need to know that we aren't alone, that there is that comfort, that we're led to those places of green pastures when sometimes we feel like we're walking through desert and parched land, that we know that we're protected, that God is there. You know, it's your rod and your staff, they comfort me. There's a protection. There's a no fear of evil. I was um, listening to a, a friend this week who has been going through a rough time. Several good friends of hers have passed away in a very short time. And that can be crushing. It can be so hard to try to bear as we lose friends and, and those we care about. Uh, just recently, uh, someone I knew from uh, from CORE, uh, Youth Crucio, from over 30 years ago. He's younger than me, but he just passed away from pancreatic cancer, leaving a teenage daughter and wife. Uh, it's, it's a tough time where he seemed to be sort of crushed by the pandemic, by economic issues. And then there's the real life issues that hit us, like again, loss of a friend or a loved one or someone we know who's ill and going through treatments. Psalm 23 is a psalm we seek for that comfort. We seek it because we know that we can't walk this journey alone, journey of fear, journey of despair. We need the strength of God, our shepherd. We need to know that our soul can be re revived. We need to know that one day, not only will we dwell in the house of the Lord forever, but our loved ones, our friends, are in that loving presence of God. And that one day we will come together in a joyful moment There'll be a celebration in that place where there are no more tears, no more mourning, no more pain. So Psalm 23, again, the very familiar and wonderful Psalm of David, to know that God is with us, that we have no needs that God cannot fill, that when we feel out in the desert, that God brings us to those places of green pasture and still waters, reviving our soul, strengthening us, walking with us through those valleys of difficulty, even the valley of the shadow of death. But God walks and protects and guides us, and that leads us to that place with him forever. Let us have a moment of prayer. Glory to you, 
Jesus Christ, our Good Shepherd. In the waters of baptism, you give us new birth. At your table, you nourish us with heavenly food. And in your goodness and mercy, you guide us beyond the terrors of evil and death to your Father's home to dwell in eternal light. Glory to you forever. Amen. Have a great week, everyone, and we'll see you next Thursday. Bye-bye.